Hey YouTube, it's your girl Kay. I'm coming at you today with a review on the Socialite Hair Ink Hair. I have the Virgin Brazilian Straight and I did the install today. Did the ombre over the weekend. I did everything myself and I really, really love it. Oh my gosh, I'm so in love with this hair. Now, a little backstory of the hair. The shipping, I ordered it on like Saturday, like 1 a.m. in the morning after I spoke with the lady Iman. Iman, you are the bomb. And I talked to her. I still speak with her. She's very nice. And her customer service is excellent. She responded to me quick. All the questions that I asked, I had many questions too. But all the questions that I asked, she explained everything. She responded in a timely manner. The shipping, like I said, I ordered it on Saturday at like 1 o'clock in the morning. Sunday, I had the tracking number. Monday was Labor Day. That was Labor Day weekend that I ordered this, actually. So Monday was a holiday, and I received the hair on Tuesday. That was like one day shipping, really? You know there's no mail on Sunday, and with a holiday Monday, come on now, I got it on Tuesday? Okay, perfect. But being that I just recently started my hair journey, I wanted to, you know, take care of my own natural hair and restore it back to health and make it a little stronger, do the protein treatments, the shampoo, pre-poo, all that stuff. I do that in my hair journey, and I did that before the install. So I just got around to doing the install today, actually. And like I said, I really I really do love this hair. There's no shedding, and I would expect there to be shedding only because when I did the install, I did cut the tracks. I didn't like do the whole wrap around. This is my first install that I did by myself. So that was the only way that I didn't know how to do it. And you would expect it to be some kind of shedding, but nothing. There's nothing in my hair. And it doesn't tangle as you can see. I curled it with a flat iron, my chi. And yeah, I really love it. I love it. I'm going back to work on Monday. I've been on maternity leave for the last three months so I've been out of work and I wanted my you know everybody tells about back to school how about me I want some back to work here sure right so like I said it was damn near one day shipping and I spoke to the lady Iman good looking out I'm gonna give you guys the link to socialite hair ink down below in the description box please check her out because she is the bomb she really is the bomb.com and the wefts, I don't have the picture of the wefts anymore. Actually, I did take pictures because I do plan to do a video on, sorry, I have allergies. And that's why I sound nasally. My nose is dripping. Probably makes my eyes look puffy. And that's why I had to put on makeup in order to do this. Because I didn't want to look like crazy and still have my allergies on top of that. Mm -mm. Not a good look. So, yeah. Um, I did tape. No, I did, I did some pictures, I did a little bit of recording, and I need to figure out how to edit everything and put it together, because I do want to come up with a video about how I did the ombre look. I did it myself, and I think it came out really, really good. I'm really impressed. I love it. That's from me watching a lot of YouTube videos I'm not going to front. I can't give nobody's name specifically, because... I don't remember. I look. I watched so many videos, and I watched it on the coloring. I watched it on the cutting. I watched it on the layering, the installation. I watched videos and videos and videos. I mean, I've done other people's hair, but I've never done my own personal hair. And I'm really impressed, and I'm happy that I did achieve my goal here in installing my install. So I did do a sewing. I have a little bit of leave out from here to here. Yeah, a little bit of leave out. But this hair blends so good with my natural hair. You can't really tell where that hair starts, where my hair ends. If you can, I don't know. Let me know. You guys will say. But to me, I think it blends perfectly. And it goes, this Brazilian hair really goes really well with relaxed, textured African-American hair. Because it blends like not, nobody's business, I'm telling you. Like, I have no issues. I have no complaints. Like I said, I don't have any shutting. I don't have any tangling. There's no hair. I have no hair in my hand. And like I said, I cut the wefts. I did not seal the wefts. I, don't, I didn't have time for all that. I did not seal the wefts. I do have little notes that I'm looking at to make sure I do hit everything up. So, yeah. 
So yeah, this is my protective style for my hair journey. I am going to leave it in until about November. My birthday is in the first week of November, the second week of November. So I'm probably going to switch it up for my birthday. I'm not sure. I'll think about it. We'll see how it goes. But the most two months. I would say the most two months I would keep this hair in. And I am still going to maintain my natural hair underneath. But I want to keep this hair at least for the winter, you know, until about November, December. So, like I said, I did it myself. I did the ombre. I did the install. I did the style. I did everything. Now, the ends itself, the ends don't look bad. I did clip the ends. But even when I got the hair, they don't look bad. And even after bleaching it, they still look very healthy. I did add a little spray. I made my own little homemade spray in my spray bottle here. And the spray just consists of my Motions Nourish Leave-In Conditioner. My Cream of Nature Argan Oil from Morocco. The oil moisturizer. Really, really good. I love this moisturizer. The Antillian Coconut Oil. And the Hollywood Beauty Tea Tree Oil. So I combine the mixture of those four things and I put it in my spray bottle here and I just shake it up. And I just spray a little bit of my hair. I don't... What I did was actually, when I did the braids, I sprayed it in between each part so that my hair would be moisturized underneath at the same time. And I'm going to do that like once every three days. I don't want to weigh the hair down. I, I'm going to co-wash the hair maybe once a week probably. But yeah, my spray. So for the hair itself, being that the Cream of Nature is a heat protector, what I did was, I, being out of thin hair, I just sprayed it once in my hair, and I just ran it through the section that I was working with, and I did the curls. That's how I did it, to make sure that, you know, my ends stay good, because, like I said, with the bleach and everything, I would expect it to be a little bit more. Granted, I did, you know, lay the hair, but I'm telling you, trust me, it did not mess up the ends at all. I love it, I love it, I love it. I'm so, so excited. And like I said, I've been on maternity leave for three months. So imagine not being, you know, I haven't been doing much. I have a little three-month-old little boy, and I really haven't been doing that. So I'm excited to get back and talking to adults. And I think that's why I started the whole YouTube thing, because I just got bored. And it was like I was buying stuff, and I couldn't tell anybody about it. And I have two boys and my fiancé. As you can see, he put a ring on it. <laughs> so... A house full of boys, and I'm the only female in this house, so I can't run home and say, oh, look at this, look what I got, look what I did, okay, he, he could care less about my hair, he said it looks nice, I did a good job, okay, great, that's what I got. I need some feedback, people, like, please. So, if you like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, that'll be nice. And, oh yeah, I do have a little bit of leftover hair, this is what the pack the hair comes in. It comes in these clear see-through packages, and as you can see, the number, that's the 16-inch, and this is the 18-inch. That's all I have left is these little two, and I did color the hair, so this is not how the hair is in its original state, but it's beautiful. It really is beautiful. This is all I have left of the 18-inch and the 16-inch. This is what I have left of the 16 inch. Beautiful. I'm telling you, it's beautiful. Straight. Oh my gosh. I do straight hair. I'm not one for big hair. I like it to look natural. And this is actually like the, probably the biggest that I've went. And I just wanted it to be nice and voluminous when I go back to work. I just want to be like, pow. You know what I'm saying? So, and yes, yeah, so that's pretty much that. I love the hair. Check her out. I put the link down below for you to check out her website Tala K Sensual and thank you for watching my video. Take care.